Bad news is never fun to hear about. Um, it can kill your vibe. It can ruin your joy temporarily. It can just mess up your whole day. That's why when we hear great news, we appreciate it a lot. I, I love hearing great news. I love sharing great news even more in a lot of different ways. But in today's video, we're going to talk about some great news that the Ravens got from one J.K. Dobbins. Now, with, with J.K. Dobbins, he's been a subject and topic of conversation, especially recently uh, with Dalvin Cook being released, has had a lot of Ravens fans wondering and thinking like, hmm, should the Ravens move off of J.K. Dobbins? He seems may, like he may be unhappy here, of course, with those recent tweets that he put out talking about his uncertainty of his future with the Baltimore Ravens. Hmm, should we sign Dalvin Cook and then get rid of J.K.? A lot of people have been talking about that. And, and J.K. Dobbins, he, he's caught wind of that. Uh, he's done a little bit of name calling on Twitter and whatnot in Spanish and what, but he deleted the tweet now, but we all saw it, JK, it's too late. But anyway, JK Dobbins, he hears it. He, he's very in tune and in touch with the fans of the Baltimore Ravens. And that can be a good and a bad thing all at the same time. But, but shout out to JK Dobbins because he has publicly expressed that, Hey, I want to be here. I want to be with the Baltimore Ravens, but I don't know how the business is going to go. I don't know how the business side of things are going to work. So that has led a lot of people to believe because uh, he didn't. He skipped all of the uh, the voluntary um, camps and whatnot, the voluntary workouts. He skipped all the voluntary stuff for the Baltimore Ravens. And so he was away. But I mean, he wasn't away from Twitter, but he stayed away from the Baltimore Ravens. But that led a lot of people to think like, hmm, is he going to skip the mandatory stuff, too? Is, is he going to be there for mandatory OTAs and then the mini camp, training camp, all that good stuff? But today, today is uh, media day. It's a day where they're taking a lot of pictures, they're making a lot of videos, they're doing a lot of stuff to prepare for the season. Uh, so a lot of the players, they come through. Uh, if you've been on social media at all this morning, then you've seen plenty of video and picture of one Ravens Lamar Jackson. But... He wasn't the only guy that participated in media day. Another person that we saw was El Toro, and that is the bull, J.K. Dobbins himself. Shout out to my guy, uh, David, who got that whole thing started with J.K. But anyway, um, J.K. Dobbins showed up. He showed up for media day. So that is a great sign. That, that's great news that he will be in the building tomorrow because this is where it all starts. This is where every well, I mean, things really started at the, the voluntary stuff, but this is where it all starts, where you have to be there and you can really start implementing stuff. We know J.K. Dobbins last year was not a great year for him. Uh, he started off a little bit late because he was recovering from injury from the previous year. He came on a little bit late and then even when he came on, he just wasn't himself. He, he wasn't all the way back yet. He wasn't all the way there yet. He didn't have his full burst, didn't have his full agility, didn't have his full speed. But he played, and he played all right, but you don't want to just be all right, especially at the running back position. Because if you're just all right at the running back position, then your team could be like, all right, we don't need you. We can find somebody else. So then J.K. had a cleanup surgery during the season, and he came back a couple weeks later and it took him a little bit to get into the groove, but he looked a lot better. But he still wasn't 100%, but he did look a lot better than he looked early on uh, last season. So now this is a, a pivotal offseason for J.K. Dobbins. This is a pivotal season for J.K. Dobbins because he is in a contract year. This is the final year of his contract. And right now, we don't know what it's looking like. We don't know what his status for the future is looking like with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm sure he may not even know his status uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Or, you know what, maybe he does. Maybe that's why he sent those tweets out. Because maybe they began talks about his future with the Baltimore Ravens. I don't think those tweets were coincidental or anything like that. Like, my guy, um, David, he had hit me up, like, right before, right when we sat down to start recording this video. He hit me up, and I'm like, timing is everything. He said, do you think J.K. being at media is shuts down rumors that he and the team are splitting? And I think that that is the start to end those. But then he also followed that up, and he said, um, it's never too much looking into players on social media when we live in a social media-driven age. And that's true. That's what we talk about a lot. Because some people will think, oh, man, no, you, you, you're looking too much into it. You're, you're, you're looking too much into the Twitter, the Instagram, the this, the that, the social media. But as we know and as we've seen, players, they speak out more than ever nowadays. 
Um, and, and I was listening to uh, uh, Kadri Ishmael. He was on my guy, uh, Kevin Ostriker, Locked on Ravens. He, he was doing a podcast with him uh, maybe like from a week, a week and a half ago, something like that. But he made a really good point because he talked about players back in his day when, when he was playing uh, with the Ravens. And they, it just obviously social media was not really around back then like that. So the players may have something to say. They may have a certain way that they feel, but they couldn't really express it like that. They couldn't express it publicly like that. That the same way that they can now via social media, like nowadays, like, yeah, you got Twitter, you got Instagram, you got Facebook, you got YouTube, you got so much stuff. It's a long list of TikTok. You got you got everything. You got so much stuff and so much ways that these players could just hop online. You ain't even got to say it verbally. You could do just a bunch of little typing and whatnot. Boom, send. It's out there for the world to see. And even if you delete it, it ain't no even it ain't even no point in deleting because it's still out there for the world to see. Once you hit send, that's it. It's on the internet forever. Forever. So, but it's nice that J.K. Dobbins uh, is in the building. Now, when a lot of Ravens fans were uh, talking about Dalvin Cook, talking about the possibility of ad adding a Dalvin Cook, hey, I'm always about making the team better, getting the team better. I get it. Because uh, y'all know how I feel about DeAndre Hopkins. It's a lot of people that's like, no, we got enough at receiver. We shouldn't add DeAndre Hopkins. I'm like, hey, the more the merrier. And y'all know how I feel. Hey, when you have more talent, your worst guy is a lot better. It's that much better. And I'm not calling anybody a bad player or whatnot because none of them are bad because they, they made it to the league for a reason. They're in the league for a reason. They're in the NFL for a reason. So they're the best of the best. Uh, so a, a player that's lower on a depth chart is that much better. That's a, that's a better way to phrase it. But with the running backs, I'm thinking, okay, we straight. We got a J.K. We got a Gus Edwards. We got a Justice Hill. Whatnot. Those are all three guys. And they, then there's Mitchell as well, who a lot of people think he can make the active roster. So we'll see what happens with that. But then you got to think, too, about health. And that's a big thing that we think when it comes to the wide receivers. We think about health. Rashad Bateman, he's been a little banged up. Odell Beckham, he's been a little banged up. So if you have even more, then it's like, all right, you got people to fill in. You got people to cover that. So stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But then when we switch back to the running backs, it's like J.K., yeah, last year he was a little banged up. Gus Edwards, yeah, last year he was a little banged up. He's a little banged up right now. So I'm not sure what's happening with Gus Edwards. I know Harbaugh did say that he should be ready for, um, I think he said he should be ready for a training camp. Uh, maybe he said a time before that, but I, I forgot. Harbaugh said he's going to be ready this offseason, but I forgot when he exactly he said. Somebody please refresh our memories or my memory because I'm sure all y'all remember. But um. There's some question marks there because you, with J.K. Dobbins, I mean, in the video, he's making all them cuts and whatnot. I'm like, hey, J.K. Dobbins look healthy to me. Uh, but this is it's such a big offseason. But if they were to add a Dalvin Cook, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad because, again, Ravens always talking about they're looking for ways to make their team better and whatnot. You add a Dalvin Cook, it's a like, ooh, okay. But I, I just don't think that uh, with Dalvin Cook um, – Hmm. I, I just don't think that the Ravens would give him something that he was looking for as far as contract uh, for a running back. But, hey, you never know. You never know. Like, again, I never thought the Ravens, like Odell Beckham Jr., would the Ravens would ever give Odell Beckham Jr. anything that he was looking for in a contract. And pff, they, they blew it out the water. <laughs> Whoa. So you never know with these Baltimore Ravens. But, anyway. Um, it is nice that J.K. Dobbins is officially back in the building, so that bodes well for him being there tomorrow when all the mandatory stuff starts. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Uh, thank you for checking out the question from subscriber video that we dropped last night. At first, I was thinking, man, should we drop this tonight? It's getting a little late, and I'm like, you know what? Go ahead, man. Team, keep it clean. You no, know, they, they they be rocking heavy, man. So, I appreciate y'all. We had a uh, 67,000 subscribers now, so appreciate that. I know Tom Grassi was a big part of that because he sent a lot of people over here from that uh, the, the, the Ravens 30 and 30 video that he did, which, again, was great. If you have not seen it, please watch it because it is phenomenal. You will love it. Uh, I loved it. I told y'all, when I watched it, I was just sitting there bawling because I just appreciated the moment, appreciated being, a, being able to be a part of that. It was just great, man. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this, so that was that was nice, man. That was really, really, really nice. 
But uh, yeah, so 67,000 subscribers is nice. But let's keep pushing this thing, man. Let's keep pushing. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing. Um, this past maybe like 16 hours, 18 hours, been a bit rough because my son, Carter, he got a stomach bug. So that, yeah, that ain't so team keep it clean. It's not. So I, I feel for him. Right now he's resting, though, so it's good that he's been sleeping. Um, so hopefully the worst is in the past. Uh, and he'll be good to go moving forward, but yeah, it is that it's been rough. <laughs> it's been really rough for him. Um, but I know I know he'll be all right. Uh, so, but I just hope that it just it passes and we can get over this thing fast. That he can get over this thing fast, because uh, you never want to see your, your your baby boy uh, just hurting uh, and, and just in pain like that. Cause it sucks. It it, it really does suck, man. Uh, so that's that. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Uh, I, I appreciate y'all a lot. Y'all, please keep on being the great people that y'all are. And we out.